friends, executive coach Ed DaCosta here with a lesson on what coaching is. So the name of the lesson is leading is coaching. I could have said coaching is leading. Now, I was recently on a very long flight uh, next to a businessman. And typically, I don't have long conversations with the people next to me on airplanes. But in this case, he looked like a nice guy. It turned out he was a nice guy. And he asked me about what I did. I asked him. And when I told him I was an executive coach, he got quite interested. And he asked me, what industries did I coach in? And I said, well, I coach in uh, the medical uh, industry, healthcare, coach in law, coach accounting uh, executives. I coach in engineering, in high technology. I coach in consumer goods, packaging, medical devices. And the list goes on. And he was quite taken aback when I said that. And, and it's actually indicative of one of the greatest myths with regard to coaching. The word coaching has been used and misused um, for a long time. But one of the misconceptions is that you must have a mastery of the technical domain of the business in order to effectively coach in it. And this is a concept straight out of Michael Gerber's uh, the E-Myth, which refers to entrepreneurship, and this is one of the biggest mistakes entrepreneurs make, at least inexperienced entrepreneurs, is that they think that because they are a master of the technology involved in the business, they are qualified to lead it. <laughs> That's uh, not true at all. It's, it's absolutely vital to have a technical understanding in order to be the, uh, an effective entrepreneur, but you've got to understand leadership, and coaching is very much the same way because coaching is in fact a process focused exclusively on the individual, on the person that you're coaching. It's about their performance and their feelings and their thoughts and their actions and their results and how they're showing up at work or at home. Of course, most of my conversations are about work life, but invariably we end up speaking about really the totality of the person's existence. It's just part of the natural evolution of the relationship between a coach uh, and a client. And now inexperienced and weak leaders and coaches, for that matter, spend far too much time telling and directing and not nearly enough time asking powerful questions and equipping and empowering the person that they are coaching. And that's such there's such a big difference. In fact, there's a large so-called coaching organization that brags about the curriculum that they run their clients through. Now, they may be wonderful at teaching that curriculum, but I will tell you this, it's not coaching because that's not what coaching is. Call it training, call it education, call it anything, but don't call it coaching because coaching is serving as a thinking partner, a, a partner or co-pilot along with the client, where the client in the metaphor is the pilot and you, the coach, are the co-pilot. You're not driving the, the conversation. You're not driving where the conversation goes. You're certainly exercising influence over the conversation, but in fact, you are, that's what coaching is, is making sure that you're asking deep, provocative questions to help the individual discover more about himself or herself and how they're showing up and what choices they're making and what choices that they might make going forward and then holding them accountable in a benevolent way, of course, to follow through on the things that they have set as intentions. That's what coaching really is about. So if you, if you look at the highest achievers in sports and in business, they all have coaches. Why do they have coaches? Not because the coach is telling them what to do, Far from it. The coach is simply asking great questions, listening with a, with a coach's ear, listening for what's being said, what's not being said, how it's being said, reading nonverbals, reading tonality, reading so many things about what is being communicated by the client that you can serve, the coach can serve as a very, very valuable resource to help the client perform at a higher level. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. Again, Ed DaCosta, take care.